Is someone in the house? and I love colorful things. So we're back once more for another episode of the Not So Very Challenge season five, Plum. I'm so excited to jump in. I think that today will be the day that Amethyst ages up into an adult and maybe moves out of the house and gets some roommates. If you guys follow me on Twitch, you'll know that I have recently redecorated an apartment downtown. I was thinking that'd be the perfect place for a girl who finishes up her career in fast food and then starts a career in the medical field. We're finally able to give our full undivided attention to Amethyst. Without further ado, let's jump into it. Oh my God, everyone's needs are terrible. She hasn't done her homework yet, but she is hungry. Is there any food in the fridge? There is not, so our queen is going to cook the family something delicious. Ooh, faux meat butter chicken. That sounds amazing. I would love some butter chicken. So she's gonna make some butter chicken for dinner. Looks like some of the boys need to sleep. Their needs are terrible. And then of course there's Catberry who we just adopted last time. Oh, so cute. I hope you guys like the purple cat. I just think that just screams amethyst to me, to be honest. And Skylar's also cooking. She's baking a cake. It's almost Amethyst's birthday. Is that tomorrow? Is not Amethyst's birthday, but the day after is okay. Our little girl's growing up. <laughs> so sad. How's Sterling doing? Sterling is gonna go eat popcorn as usual. What a classic Sterling move. And Ash is asleep in bed, but very stinky. Poor boys. They are just struggling out here. Uh, I can't believe we're leaving them. Their room is still pretty young. I know I said I was gonna do a makeover at some point. Maybe I'll come back and do one eventually or not. <gasps> Hey, but this is Genevieve. Do you want to hang out tonight? Oh my gosh, she wants to go to a nightclub and it's Genevieve and we never get to go out. But we're so hungry and we're so tired. But part of me just wants to go do it anyway. Oh, she's just so uncomfortable and it's a school night. She's like a senior. She's fine. <laughs> We're gonna go, because it sounds fun. We'll eat when we're there. We'll finish our butter chicken when we get home. Oh my gosh, yo! Okay, let's change her outfit. We went out in this outfit last time. Let's switch it up. Maybe this like little preppy number would be cute. Oh my gosh. And make sure to have like a deep conversation with your bestie Genevieve. They're super duper close. And oh, the DJ is here. They are singing and ooh. Jacob Odd is really cute, but he's a young adult. He's a little old for us. Let's order food. We'll order. Mm -hmm. Some French fries. She's a teen. Hopefully we'll meet some other teens. Okay, that's an adult. That's a young adult. Jameson Fires. That's an adult. Okay, they're all adults as usual. Wait, wait. Oh my gosh, it's our friend. Kind of looks like he's in our group. It's Spencer. So apparently Genevieve invited Spencer out too, which is fun. Oh, and look, it's Cadence. Oh my gosh, we got to talk with like our friends. And there's a ghost here. All right, there's also a ghost at the club, but it looks like our dance team friends all showed up, which is really cute. I love that we invited all our dance team friends. She's a little bored though. Girl, suggest some fun activities. You're at a little club. Although this music leaves a lot to be desired. She took care of her hunger. Her hunger's pretty good. So she's gonna chat with everybody. Where's she going? Oh, she's gonna go chat with Spencer. Apparently Spencer didn't come inside with the rest of the group. Okay, Spencer, why are you outside? Are you, is he sad? Oh, they like kissed on the cheeks. That's interesting. Oh my gosh, and someone's crying in the closet. Is everyone okay? This is nuts. There's a girl crying in the closet. Spencer's like wildly uncomfortable. Let's brighten his day be our sweet, charming self with all of our friends. But we're feeling better, so that's good. Flatter him. I'm like wondering if she has any like attraction to anyone. Oh, Spencer's a slob. Wait, was that a flirt? If that was a flirt, I didn't mean it to be. Oh, she does find Spencer attractive. Okay, what about Genevieve? She hasn't decided about women yet, but I, I kind of see Amethyst as being bisexual. Ooh, who is this guy? Sheldon Edo. Those Edos, <laughs> they sneaky. You know what? Maybe it's a bad thing that we're really related to the Edo family because the Edos are so prevalent. There are so many Edos now. I tell you what, like look at all these Edos. Royce Ridley is an Edo. See, I didn't even know we're related to Royce Ridley. There are too many Edos. Their family line is unmatched. So Sheldon Edo were probably somehow related. Become partners in crime. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? They can become best friends. Become best friends forever. I think she's best friends with her mom, but I don't know. Regardless, she needs to make her own friends. 
friends. And her and Genevieve have been like besties for a while now, so they might as well. Oh my gosh, and there's a vampire here too. Did you guys see that? Oh, they just became best friends forever. Oh my God, I love them. That makes me super happy. But how fun the teens all come to hang out and dance at the club together. <laughs> I love how Spencer's dance moves are so funny. Discuss some latest video games. Let's flatter. Always be skill building. We're working on our skills here with being very charismatic. We're almost at level seven. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, everyone's headed out. So let's go home. We had so much fun. We danced. We ate french fries at the bar. We hung out with our dance club friend and we got a little closer. Our charisma's like just right there. It's just so, so close, but it's fine. I'm fine. This is fine. We're fine. All right, we are home and we are dead tired. So let's go disco nap, baby. Oh, actually we did finish our food. Wow, we flipping nailed it. Round of applause for us for crushing that. Oh my gosh, Skylar never finished her cake and is instead working out. That's not the most Skylar thing that has ever happened. All right, we've got school tomorrow. We are an excellent B student, so <gasps> we might just make it to A student. We have work in 17 hours. Okay, so we have work Tuesday night. So that's glad that we went out on Monday night because we didn't actually have time the rest of this week because we're working. And we are at Fry Cook and we're average. So I think it'll take like two more work times before we might be promoted again. And then we can finally move on and we'll become an adult. We could change to the next part of the Renaissance sim. Everything is going according to plan. Catbear is frolicking around. Could use the purple cat. He's like, it's a big version of me. You need some purple cat time. Yes, we do need to bond with Catberry. So many things to do for Amethyst. Oh my gosh, and Catberry is also mischievous. Oh, okay. Let's hang out with Cat a little bit. Give a little hug. We just need to bond with Catberry. You're gonna be my baby. You need to be my baby, okay? Okay. We finished our homework though, which is great. Maybe we'll do some extra credit work too. And then we could work on our charisma. Maybe practice a little speech. Oh, did you hear that? That was Catberry's little song. It was like, Oh my goodness, look at these two. Oh, this cat seriously just looks like a purple raccoon and I'm so here for it. If the cat actually ends up being a raccoon, I think that'd be even funnier. That would be also very funny of Skylar to adopt a cat thinking it was a cat and it was actually a raccoon. <laughs> All right, we're finishing up our homework and I love that Kat is just playing around in our room while we do our homework. Bye, I'm sorry your needs are so trash, but your homework's done and your extra credit's done. So hopefully you'll become a perfect student. And as usual, Ash is gonna make friends and Sterling will study hard. We are saving up money because I'm like afraid that we are not gonna have enough money for the place that I chose for Amethyst. Hopefully we do. The furnishings I know are quite expensive that I chose, so. Okay, Casey's off to work. Bye, Casey. How are you doing? Are you gonna be an A student today? Oh, she's an excellent B student. Come on, baby. <gasps> she took a picture. Oh, Ooh, yay. Okay, we got the check mark. We're definitely gonna become an A student before we graduate, which is perfect. Ooh, a dangerous story. While researching a new story, Casey gets the distinct impression she's being followed. But while dying for a story would be good for her legacy, Casey would honestly rather not. Although she feels like her life is in danger, should Casey keep digging or back off? I feel like since now she has a family, her priorities are a little different, so I think she's gonna back off. Casey lives to work for another day. The story probably wasn't worth it anyway. And Ash has met Jace while at school, and Casey has earned the people person lifestyle. That's good. Very cool. Oh, look at Cat. Cat's hiding underneath the couch because she's afraid of the dishwasher. Oh no, it's so cute. Okay, the kids are home from school. It looks like Sterling and Ash did a pretty good job. And Amethyst is great. Our up. Good job, Amethyst. She's now an A student, but she's super stressed. I don't blame you. Why don't you go take a nap? Because you're really stressed out before going to work. Everyone just needs a nap after school. Whereas mom's like working out. She is energetic. Amethyst is like, I'm out. I gotta fall asleep for a little while here. Who's here? Oh, it's Genevieve. Genevieve came over. That is so fun. Invite Genevieve in. Starts working one hour. Ooh, we do need to go to bed though. I'm sorry, Genevieve, 
we were not very fun because we're trying to get our <laughs> needs up. All right, you gotta wake up a little bit and then like maybe just like try to calm yourself down in the mirror here. Oh, nope, she cannot. She's gotta go to work. I'm so sorry, Amethyst. You only had time for a nap, but at least you're not as bad as you were before. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. All right, let's work hard so that we can get up our skills here. I feel so bad. Casey is stressing because it's filthy in here. What's filthy? Is there things that need cleaned? Why don't you clean some stuff? Oh, throw that away. I see what you mean. I guess it is kind of messy in here. All right, now we're happier. And Genevieve's still over. I think that's really funny that Amethyst's friend came over and then just chilling. I feel like we should unlock for Casey. Why don't you like write a little bit? We don't have any like skills for Casey and her investigative journalist. So I feel I felt like maybe we'll help her work on that while we're chilling. How's uh, Amethyst doing? Her work performance is pretty average, unfortunately. Ooh, Amethyst is barely keeping up with the lunch rush. <laughs> it's not lunchtime, it is 7 p.m., but okay. When a burger slips off her spatula onto the floor, instinctively she pounces, snatching up the steaming patty before anyone sees. Really, it was only there for four seconds. Will the customer even know? Uh, no, she's gonna get a new one. She would never. The manager isn't thrilled about the extra time or wasted meat, but Amethyst sure feels better doing the right thing. Not that she'd ever eat here, knowing what she knows, but it gives her some hope someday someone else might do the same for her. That is very cute. Ooh, we're home. Okay, she did good. She earned a vacation day. She's kind of like halfway there. Hopefully we only need one more day at work, but we might need to. All right, let's take some disco naps as usual. Amethyst just naps. She's too busy. She's like Hermione Granger. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? There is always something breaking lately. All right, we're almost fully energized. There she goes. She's gonna go use the bathroom and then she's gonna take a shower and then we need fun really bad, which I think we'll do guitar. Let's see what skills we need. Guitar seven, yeah, yeah, we'll do guitar. Oh, she's too tense. Why don't you play a video game with your brothers since you're tense? You can calm down. Although I, I feel like playing guitar would be fun, but yeah, go play video games with your brothers. If that still doesn't work, you could go work out. I'm sure mom would love that. Look, there she goes. She's focused all of a sudden. She's like, yeah, I love game. Perfect. And always be skill building. She's skill building too. Although how is her skill at video games? Three, it's a level three, okay. But she's gaining that skill quick. She'll be level four in no time. All right, why don't you grab some leftovers from the fridge? Ooh, last recess, no one wanted to play with me. I just climbed around on my own. If that happens again, what should I do? It looks like Sterling is asking Casey that, which is sweet. So Casey's gonna be like, uh, why don't you ask the other kids if you can join in? Casey's such a good mom. And then we need more fun. You could play with your cat, play with the laser pointer with your cat, and then maybe play some guitar. The cat isn't skill building, but it's relationship building and it's still important to me, okay? And it got her fun all the way up, like almost immediately. So that's always important to me. She's very focused. Actually, we could do logic, although logic is already level eight. So unless we want to max out logic, which we might need for her second career, I'm not quite sure. Now she's playing her guitar. Every time, I'm just always so impressed with how talented Amethyst is. Ash has come in to listen to her play. That's sweet, I love that. Oh my gosh, she starts school in an hour? Oh my gosh. Oh, she likes guitar. Wait, did she not like guitar before? I thought she did. Either way, now she likes guitar, so that's convenient. She's gonna go play with her cat a little bit. And then I think we need to grab some breakfast. Everything is breaking. Can you guys repair this please, mom? She's gonna have some cake for breakfast. That is a choice there. That is a choice. Good job, I guess. And she's very focused, which is perfect for going to school. Everyone's going to school. Is tomorrow her birthday? Today is her birthday. Oh my gosh. When are we gonna have a birthday party? She has work after school until nine. I guess we'll just have a late birthday party. I'm gonna schedule one at an event. So we'll make a birthday party tonight. We'll not forget her birthday party. She's going to become an adult. Okay, she's off to school. Honestly, your needs are like perfect. I don't want you to get it's so crazy and you're already an A student. I don't think you'll go down. So we're just gonna have her let, like vibe. Whereas Ash is a C student. Maybe he should study hard today. And obviously Sterling's gonna study hard and he's gonna be a B student soon. Love that for them. Okay, today the principal is visiting Ash's class. Everyone is to be on their best behavior and not interrupt the lesson. Unfortunately, the kid sitting behind him has decided to pelt him with something. It's Ash, so I feel like Ash would be like, stop. Sterling, I think would ignore it, but Ash would be like, you need to stop. Ash scribbles a note and passes it back to the kid. Stop or I'll tell the kid wads up the paper. Okay, someone else is calling. There's another 
another phone call. I couldn't even finish this one about Ash before Ash is getting called in for another thing. He threw an inappropriate piece of artwork and showed it to a classmate. <laughs> Let's take the drawing and punish him, okay? Don't do not do that at school. The kid wants up the paper and fires it at Ash, but it misses and rolls to the teacher's feet. For once, somebody else gets in trouble and Ash gets off scot-free. This is classic Ash. All right, Ash had a very eventful school day today, I tell you. Oh, Harvest Fest is tomorrow. Oh my gosh. It feels like Amethyst yeah, is gonna move out and then just come right back home for Harvest Fest. <laughs> That'll be okay. Is someone in the house? I'm making the sim leave. I literally cheated to make the sim leave. Yamachan! Get out of my house. Yes! The victory I feel from finally figuring out how to make Yamachan get out of my house. Get out of my house, you creep. Stop breaking and entering just to use my daughter's guitar. Stop it. I used to think you were cute, but you're a menace. You are a menace. Get out. Yeah, you better run. Anyway, I'm just enjoying my cake. She's like literally none the wiser. <laughs> and she's farting and laughing about it. Very cute. Good job. Go sing in your shower. It's your favorite. Skylar loves singing in the shower. Oh, it's gonna be so weird leaving. We're definitely gonna have to take pictures at the birthday party tonight. Don't let me forget, okay? I hope I don't forget. I'm gonna be really mad if I forget. All right, Amethyst, how you doing? She's she's good. She's at school till three. She's an average A student, but honestly, she's perfect. Ooh, Skylar's gonna chat with her friend. Wait, did Jordan come over? Jordan, come on in. Thanks for swinging by. All right, Jordan and Skylar are having a nice day together, hanging out. That's so nice. I'm trying to figure out why Amethyst would be like, I want to become a doctor. But I just feel like Amethyst is just that smart that like growing up, she's had so many interests, but she's so smart in school that I feel like maybe her guidance counselors or teachers have kind of guided her down to this path of like, you should be working in STEM. You should like either be like looking into math or science or like engineering or something because you're just so smart and she was like well i love being around people so maybe like something in the healthcare, more med school would be more my thing since she's so fun and she's really charismatic and she might even be more into like music or dance therapy. So she's like, yeah, I'm gonna go for that. Like it'll combine a lot of my interests. And I think that just might be like why Amethyst does the thing that she does. I think it makes a lot of sense that she's just always been kind of like an overachiever and overextending herself. And she's also a little impulsive. So I feel like hearing that enough from like her mentors would be like, oh yeah, I can do that, whatever. And then she gets there and she's like, I don't like this. Oh, Skylar just became friends with Kat. That's sweet. I love that Skylar and Kat are getting along. Hurry up, get home, Amethyst. I like to take care of you before you have to go back to work. Oh, Amethyst invite over classmate Royce. Who's Royce, Amethyst? She's so popular. Oh, it's Royce Ridley. Oh yeah, come on in. Let's be charismatic with Royce. I think we're related. So it's not a romance thing, but we're gonna brighten Royce's day. We're gonna just use all our charismatic things things. Compliment his outfit. Be like, that's a cool jacket, Royce. You're looking really cool today. <laughs> Is that how you compliment someone's outfit? I don't know. Hopefully. Did that help with your charisma? You're so close. Just finish that charisma really quick. Just really quick. Oh, our method starts working an hour and Casey's back with another thousand simoleons. Yay. Good job. Go compliment him again. Be like, yeah, your outfits look really nice, Royce. Oh, he didn't like it. Okay. That was rude. What about brightening his day? Just, I'm trying to get my charisma up, dude. Okay, he liked that one. He liked us brightening his day. Yes, our charisma is up at level seven. Yo, let's go. Let us go. Let us go. Guitar and charisma, we just need to get up and then we'll have four level eight skills already. I'm a pro. I'm a pro. All right, go use the bathroom and then you gotta go to work. Oh my gosh, Kat is raging up. No, I'm not ready yet. No, I don't think she should miss work. I think she should go to work. Go to work, girl. I don't care if your cat's aging up. Okay, teleport here and go to work. Cat aged up into an adult cat. She will now climb stairs as well as hopping onto and resting on higher flat surfaces. She can also mate with other cats if she isn't spayed. I believe cat is spayed. Oh my gosh, go to work. I can't believe my cat let me be 30 minutes late. Are you a raccoon? <laughs> I'm like 90% sure Cat Fairy is a raccoon. I'll have to look in our like inventory in Kaz and see if there's a breed. <laughs> look at this cat. All right, you have to work hard, okay, Amethyst? I'm sorry. I know you might be kind of over your fry cook job, but you have to work hard because we need, need, need this promotion. So close. I don't think we're gonna make it though. Oh, but maybe we still have like a quarter of our time at work left. Come on, come on. 
Oh, and she's done. Nope, she's an excellent fry cook, but she did not get the promotion. She'll definitely get it next time though. But it is officially like her birthday party. All right, so let's have her disco nap a little before the party because she's tired. Two hours later. Let's start the party. Okay. Oh, I love your party look that you chose for your birthday. Okay, you've got to make yourself a cake. I know that it's kind of silly to make your own cake. Let's do a blue confetti cake. All right. All right, so our friends are all coming over. Happy birthday, Amethyst. You're gonna be an adult. Spencer's here. Oh, Spencer's already aged up. Spencer's a young adult now. Who else is here? Cadence is still a teen. So thank him for coming. Thank Cadence for coming. Where is our bestie Genevieve? Hello, Genevieve. Did Genevieve already show up? Nope. Looks like Genevieve's not here. Maybe Genevieve had like a work thing or a school thing that came up. I hope not though. I love having Genevieve over. Genevieve, come on over. Where is Genevieve? Invite to join cooking. Like Genevieve, come to the house. Genevieve's like around the area. She's just late to the party. Classic friend move. <gasps> we didn't invite her dad. Oh my gosh, we didn't invite dad. Oh my gosh. Well, we should invite him. Mom's gonna invite him while Amethyst is finishing her, her cake. They're both sleeping. Maybe that's why they didn't come. They were like, the party's too late. Her blue cake is here. Oh my gosh, happy birthday. Add the candles before anyone eats it, okay? Now blow out the candles. Happy birthday, Amethyst. I know it's at 1 a.m. the following day, but it's still your birthday, girly. Amethyst aged up. Yes! Oh my gosh, she's fully an adult now. We love to see it. All right, so her final trait is going to be non-committal, which makes a lot of sense because she just has not been able to commit to anything. So we're gonna have non-committal. There she is. That is our plum queen. Look at her. She looks so adult. Oh my gosh. And we gotta give her a makeover. So let's go into command center and give her an adult little makeover. Oh my gosh. Okay, well this outfit's already perfect, but let's go to her every day. Ooh, maybe we should chop her hair. No, maybe she'll chop her hair when she goes like into med school. I think right now she's not in med school yet, so she doesn't need to chop all her hair, but I think she will when she goes into med school because I think that'd be kind of cool. Ooh, this one is pretty. This kind of reminds me of her mom's hair actually. Ooh, or this one's kind of cool, but I love the braid. I think I might go braid for now. I like the lighter color on her, so I think we might do this. This. I love the earrings. We're gonna keep the earrings. Maybe makeup, we might add some fun stuff. Oh, I like this one. That's pretty. Okay, we do that. I think that is so cool. I think she looks super cool with the nose ring. Yes, 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 yes. We'll have to add like the nose ring to all of her outfits now. She became an adult and immediately got a nose ring. Sounds about right. Oh, this one's kind of like, I wanna be a business lady kind of look. That's kind of cute. Maybe we'll have her start wearing that kind of stuff when she becomes a doctor, but she's not a doctor quite yet. This top feels right. She's going hard into adulthood. She's like, I'm gonna wear heels. I am a fully adult woman and I wear what I want to wear. This is great. I love this. Okay, that's for her first adult look. This one, I still like this look. I think that one's great. Maybe swap the shorts for like these pants instead. That's fun. Yeah, it looks great. All right, Amethyst is now a young adult with her nose ring and I'm obsessed. Obsessed. And then Cadbury is a 100% confirmed raccoon. Cat can have a little bow tie. Oh. Yes, a little bow tie. What a showman is Cat Berry. I also love that it's a raccoon named Cat. That's just peak good times. Excellent, excellent work. <laughs> Our birthday party's going strong. I can't believe she's an adult. Yes, we're on level two of the Renaissance skim. We need to reach level three in two careers. Technically, we already have one. Oh, in two careers. So we technically could bail on the fry cook thing since we technically already have one of two. That's cool. Perfect. Where is Cat Berry? We're good Cat Berry. But let's Lecture about scratching. They're such a duo. I love the amount of fashion that is going on right now with Kat and Amethyst. And then we have a job. We don't have to go to school anymore. This is wild. Oh my gosh, this is so weird. I can't believe it. Oh my gosh, it looks like Spencer's trying to flirt with Genevieve and she's not having any of it. She's just like, ugh, whatever. <laughs> Our birthday party is almost over, but Amethyst is literally asleep. She's like, whatever. I guess we could just quit. I don't know. Like, because I'm like, well, we'll be level three in the next career. So what if we just quit? You know what? I don't want to cheat it though, even though it says it. I think we should, we would be fine. Oh, look how good Ash is cleaning up after everyone in the house. It's 
4 a.m. We might as well like have her sleep through the night and then we'll have her move out in the morning. Sterling passed out in the backyard. Sterling, why don't you go to bed, sweetie? He partied himself out and he really needs to go to the bathroom. What's wrong with Cat Berry? Oh, Cat's got like fleas. Does mom have those like pet treats? Okay, we do. We still have like two pet treats. Let's wake up and go give a vet treat to Cat Berry. She looks so mature. I just cannot. Hopefully this fixes Cat and it's Harvest Fest. It would feel weird to move out on Harvest Fest, but also I really want to move out. So I think maybe we just will. Should we just do it? Okay. All right. I'm going to save and manage worlds. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. And we're going to move out and we're going to make sure Genevieve Sigworth is aged up and then we're going to make her a roommate and then we're going to find one more roommate and hopefully that roommate might be someone like attractive, you know? All right. Let's see though. Manage household. This is gonna be so weird. We're gonna move them out into their own household. I'm gonna take 30,000 simoleons from them. And then I'm gonna take 30,000 from dad. And that'll be just what we do. So we're going to move them <laughs> with dad for a second <laughs> and collect more money. Okay, great. And then we're going to manage them and move them back out. I, I wanna be like that she pretty much just pays for the apartment and like nothing else is my goal. So let's see if this is about enough. Okay, I think that's about right. We'll have like 2000 simoleons left. Okay, I will take out the simoleons so we'll have like less than a thousand left and we'll just have to hustle a little bit for our weekly rent. But we're also gonna have roommates so it's gonna be fine. But I don't want it to be too easy on her but I do not want to change the apartment. <laughs> Also, I think I didn't have to bring anything along because she doesn't have any like, oh shoot, I didn't pack up anything. You know what? She's a bit of a free spirit and it was an impulsive decision that she made to move without any of those things. I think down the road, hopefully we will go back and get them. I think that's my game plan. However, I know you guys love having that stuff. So I think by the time she might move again, we might move in with family for a minute and then like pick up that stuff. It's never gonna not be a part of her life, if that makes sense. Like she'll get that stuff eventually, just not right now. And you guys can feel free to remind me in the comments to do so in the future. I just really wanna get into this house. So let's, let's Let's do that. Oh my gosh, big life change. It's gonna be in the apartment. Oh my gosh, hello, Amethyst and Cat Berry. Let's go here inside the apartment, which I'm obsessed obsessed with. We're gonna call Cat into the apartment. Cat, you are a apartment cat, so you will not be going outside again. Here is your new bowl, Cat. Welcome to the house. This is living space. Oh, and then I'm gonna change her money. There we go. She has enough for rent and that's about it. It is Harvest Fest. She does have work today, even though it's Harvest Fest. This is the apartment though. This is her bed. So we're gonna claim this bed. It's ours. Oh my gosh, this is our room. We have our laptop and everything. We got a dance floor yoga mat, all the things we need to build up our skills and thrive in this home. And then downstairs is obviously vibey as well. I'm just so excited. Oh my gosh. And then how do we get roommates? Maybe that's on the laptop. Place advertisement for roommates. Okay. Has been placed for new roommate. Fingers crossed for perfect roommates only. So we're gonna ask one roommate and then once Genevieve is old enough, she will be the second roommate. So hopefully we get a good roommate. Oh my gosh, Kat is already making themselves at home. We are already making ourselves at home. It feels so weird to be in this place. Pretty nice. It reminds me of the TV show Friends was kind of like part of the inspiration for the downstairs, definitely. And yeah, we're gonna have to just sell stuff in order to stay afloat here since we're, we don't have a ton of money now that we've <laughs> spent it all on the apartment furnishing. <laughs> oh my gosh, look, Cat Berry is enjoying our cat scratcher. Yes, Cat. We love that. Oh, she's thinking about mom. We should invite maybe over all of our friends. I just really want to age up Genevieve. So maybe we'll invite Genevieve over. Oh, I think we can just like make her age up with a cake. We'll make Genevieve a cake for her birthday. Genevieve gives me a white or chocolate cake energy. Let's do chocolate cake. I also love this kitchen so much. Look at it, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. And look, Genevieve's chilling over there. This is gonna be what it's gonna be like all the time, Genevieve. Let's add some birthday candles and Genevieve, you're gonna age up with me, okay? Happy birthday, will you move in with me and be my roommate? Is this the roommate option? Um, no, I'm sorry, big no from me. Hana Hasegawa looks mean. I do not want you to be my roommate. We'll still have a friendly introduction, but like absolutely not. How do we reject you being our roommate? Look at her aging up. Okay, Genevieve is now a young adult. So let's ask Genevieve to be our roommate. 
Okay, I think she needs to like move out of her parents' home in order for her to be our roommate. So I'm going to save here. I'm gonna look up where she lives and I'm gonna move her out of her house so that maybe she can become our roommate. Yes, okay, here we go. We're gonna have her move into her own household and give her like, I don't know, like half of the household funds. And then we're gonna go back to my house and hopefully we can ask her to be our roommate and then we'll have to find a third roommate. And then it's just gonna be like the TV show Friends where they all live together and they're friends. But then some of them date. Ooh, what we could also date a neighbor just like the TV show Friends. So any anyway, I'm trying to make the TV show Friends. There it is, roommate, ask a to be a new roommate, perfect. Be my new roommate. Okay, I didn't realize there was like a roommate section. This is perfect. I'm so excited to move in as soon as your roommate. If you clear some space around my bed, I'll have somewhere to put my things. Okay, oh my gosh, we have a roommate guys. We have our first roommate. Do we still have this up for a another roommate? Okay, no, our roommate advertisement is still up too. So hopefully they'll send over another roommate option. Who's this Kala? Oh my gosh, this is Kala. That is our cousin Kala. Go say hi, go say hi, Amethyst. Oh my gosh, we've already spent money. Oh right, cause it was on the cake. Well, this is gonna be a challenge, which will be good. It'll be a good challenge. Oh, she looks like a preteen. Look at Kala's a preteen. We live next door to our aunt. This is really cute. That's probably how they got this place too. Oh my gosh, how funny. Where did our cat go? Cat, don't eat the human food, cat. Good job, cat. Way to learn a thing. Yes, they're over. Okay, this is perfect. Maybe we should like make a grand meal for today. Although we have work in like four hours. So I don't even know if we have time for a grand meal. We certainly don't, but I love that they're welcoming us into the neighborhood. That's really fun. Share Harvest Fest spirit. Ooh, who's this? Oh, another potential roommate. My Shimizu. I mean, okay, I had in mind having like a romantic interest in our roommate. I also had that in mind for our next door neighbors. Unfortunately, we're literally related to our neighbors. So that's like not gonna happen. However, maybe we'd meet someone at med school. So I'm just gonna keep my options open, but I do think like my might be a good other roommate because then we could be like a house of fun, like female friends, I think would be cool too. Maya is crying in the house, but she's like hyping herself up. I don't know, I'm getting good vibes from my, oh my gosh, did we just flirt with our aunt? Don't do that, don't do that. Gross, abort, abort, abort. Let's do a polite introduction. Please stop, please stop talking with your aunt. It looks like Maya and us got along really well because we're extra polite. We got that from being a child. And I think Maya seems like a good third roommate. So maybe we will accept as new roommates. I think it'd be fun to have a bunch of girl roommates. Maybe some cute male or female Sims would move in in a building nearby. Maybe I want you guys to make some love interests possibly for Amethyst, so. Oh my gosh, and Maya's flirting with my aunt. I think I'm gonna call it that we're friend zone. Oh, Maya's also a dance machine. <gasps> we could be dancer friends. Okay, I'm just gonna call it. I think you should also be my new roommate. Three gorgeous, gorgeous girls. We'll make sure Genevieve is added as our second roommate once I guess Maya is all settled in. Who is this? Roommate's boyfriend. Oh my gosh, this is Maya's boyfriend. Hi, way up. Hi, why? Okay, if you're gonna be hanging out, we might need to give you a makeover. I also feel like we need to give Maya a makeover because I do not like whatever this outfit is. She's like, I got a new space. Do you love it? Oh my gosh. This is wild. We're sleeping in the hallway. Our aunt is on our guitar. It looks like our cousin is bringing trash into my house instead of throwing it out of my house. Don't love that. Like what the heck? This is so interesting. I am loving that our roommate has a boyfriend. Okay, wait, Genevieve, potential roommate. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, this is perfect. So accept his new roommate, perfect. All right, so she did come back to be our roommate and then we're gonna give her her bed. Okay, yes, I'm so excited to move in. And the, and the roommate, yes, Genevieve. Perfect. We have our roommates in our new place. I will have to give Maya a makeover in the next one and Genevieve give her like a little touch up, but we have like our two roommates. We're living next door to our aunt, which is super cute. And we're like a full grown adult girl. And Catberry is 100% a raccoon and you cannot tell me anything differently. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure to let me know what all of the skills that we should be building for Amethyst in the comments below. Below. Also, if you want to make any significant others for Amethyst and put those in the gallery, make sure to use my hashtag Kelsey not so very, and I will check that out in a future episode. And until next time, guys, I'll see you around the internet very soon. Bye!